Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about metadata and uh, metadata is just literally uh, data about data and uh, we'll be using metadata to structure uh, the inputs that we put into Roam Research and it's a useful way for us to systematically categorize uh, the data that we're working with and just to ensure that we're able to find uh, the information that we're looking for uh, when we need to find them. So uh, I've set uh, this, uh, so if I right shift click on metadata, it brings uh, the sidebar up. And right now I've just started uh, reading a book called uh, The Art of Doing Science and Engineering, which uh, seems like a great book so far. And I've heard a lot of good things about it too. And uh, so I've created this page just now. And then uh, what I like to do is I'll just copy and paste this section here and I know that this is the format that I typically use for uh, books and uh, this just means that I don't have to um, type these things uh, all the time um, and uh, the way that I would usually do it is I'll actually let me just go back so I'll type in metadata first and then I'll choose the structure that makes the most sense or the one that is most relevant to it and uh, in this case, um, we can take that back here. So this book is written by Richard Hemming. And uh, the source uh, of the book in this case is uh, Amazon. But uh, you can put in a different link or if you have the link to the book itself as well. Uh, I will sometimes put it here. So for example, if I have a PDF or a newsletter or something, I might link uh, directly to the source there. Uh, in this case, I'll just write Amazon and I'll get rid of all these reference, which is not necessary. Uh, and then the tags. So I haven't, uh, so as you're going through the book or when you're adding the book uh, at the beginning, you can uh, just have book summaries here initially and then add the relevant tags as you go along. You don't need to populate all the relevant sort of tags uh, initially. And then you can make your summary notes as you go along. So you'll see here that I've got a bunch of um, categories. So one's for YouTube, another one's for books, uh, articles, projects, uh, goals, and uh, people. Uh, and uh, I find that uh, this is very useful to have generally.